guys! Welcome to my garage. Today I'm going to be showing you how I sharpen my steel MS-170 chainsaw using the steel 2-in-1 sharpener. I really like this sharpener. As a beginner in the, the chainsaw field, I find it really easy to use. Um, there wasn't much of a learning curve to figure it out. Just a few, uh, few guidelines you need to uh, be aware of before you get started and then, uh, and then pretty much uh, off you go. So uh, let's get started. Some of you have seen me sharpen my chainsaw in the field before where I kind of just put it on the ground and sit on it to hold it steady while I sharpen. Um, I did that also uh, here in my garage for, uh, for a while. Um, not ideal because the saw isn't really stable and it does move around a lot. I found that using this um, I was still able to get it decently sharp enough uh, to continue cutting with it. But ideally, you want your saw to be fairly stable um, before you start sharpening it. I don't have a vise in my shop yet, unfortunately, but I have devised the most elegant solution. Um, with uh, We have one of these one of these guys. I don't know what it's called, but it's like a field vise where you kind of whack it into whack it into a trunk or a log or something out in the out in the field, and then you can clamp your chainsaw with that. Haven't used it much in the field, but I have. Put it into some 2x4s here, which I've then clamped to my table, and now it is stable. One thing you want to watch for when you're doing this is if you, if you don't lift the bar up slightly inside the, the little vise, your chain's going to hook on the bottom of the, uh, of the little vise so that when you want to turn it, it won't turn. It's going to be stuck. So you want to just make sure there's clearance below the chain in your vise to turn your chain once you start sharpening. Uh, next step is on my chain, which is a 14 inch, it's a 14 inch bar. And this chain, I don't think all chains have this. I'm not 100% certain, so don't quote me on this because I don't have much experience with any other chainsaws besides this one. But uh, there's a spot on my chain where um, the cutters the cutters on the chain face right and left and alternate, but there's one spot on my chain where the cutters face both in the same direction. So somewhere along here, there are two left facing cutters. Left, right, left, right, left, 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 here we go. So there's two left facing cutters right here. So that is usually where I start sharpening and then that way it's a really good uh, marker for once you've gone all the way around the, the chain and can switch sides and still use these two in a row as a marker for when you've gone around. So like I said, I don't think all chains have this. If yours doesn't, you can always use like a, like a magic marker and just color one of, one of them in so you know where to stop um, when you're going around because especially on those longer bars, uh, you're going to be, be going around for a long time if you don't know where to stop. Alright, next step is we're going to grab our, our sharpener here and you'll see on the sharpener that it's clearly written what, uh, what size chain it's for. So be sure uh, you know what your chain dimensions are and use the right sharpener because these come in all sorts of, of sizes for different blades. You don't want to grab the wrong one by accident because you will mess up your chain. Alright, so I'm going to find my two in a row here, left facing cutters. Um, this thing has the angles built into it in the handles and arrows, very idiot proof arrows facing the pointing in the direction you need to, to sharpen. So I want to do my left facing cutters first. So I want to line up the angle so it's parallel with the side of the bar. This thing, it has all the, all the little crosses on it uh, rest on other cutters to make sure that it's in the right spot. And then applying while making sure to keep, to keep the sharpener perpendicular to the top of the bar. Like you don't want to be going like this or like this. You want it to be really flat across the top of the bar. And keeping the strokes, um, I say firm, but even, 
and try to do the same number of strokes on each on each cutter. So here we go. So once you've gone all the way around your chain and you're back to your starting point with the two left facing cutters or your mark that you've uh, you've colored in, you're going to take your your sharpener and just flip it over. And now you see the angles will line up with the side of the bar still, but this time the arrow is pointing this way and it's going to be for your right facing cutters. So you're going to line up to the one that is right next to your two left facing one, and that's still gonna be your marker for when you've gone all the way around. And same as before, you're gonna keep an even pressure and keep the sharpener uh, flat across the top of the chain. So I just wanted to show you um, up close the cutters, which are, here's one left facing cutter and the other one. So these are my two left facing cutters in a row. This one's a right facing cutter. And if you look closely, you can see these lines. There's a little curved line here and one across the top here. That's as far as you can sharpen it. And when you hit those lines, you need to change your chain. So that'll be, um, that'll be when I'll be due to change my chain. This is the raker. This actually gets filed down with the two-in-one file at the same time as this curved part in here and the front of the cutter. So that's the two-in-one coming in. The little curved part here where you can see on this one as well, there's like a little hook. And that hook is really important because that is what's going to catch in the protective material of your chainsaw safety gear and it's going to jam up the saw so it doesn't actually get through the safety gear and cut you. So really important to maintain that hook in your, in your cutters. So we have done sharpening the cutters facing both directions, left and right, all the way around the chain. The saw is ready to go work another day. I hope you enjoyed watching how I sharpened my chainsaw with uh, my handy dandy steel 2-in-1 sharpener. The sharpener is really great, especially if you're a beginner like me just starting out. It's pretty hard to go wrong with this thing, so definitely look into it if uh, you're considering uh, a sharpener for your chainsaw. Uh, just be extra sure to get the right size for your chain and it is written right on the right on the sharpener so convenient all right well thanks again guys and uh, hopefully we'll see you again soon take care bye bye